Most Western musicians will be intimately familiar with the diatonic scale. It's got five large steps and two small steps. It's got three major chords, three minor chords, and a diminished chord. And there are various modifications of that scale arrived at via sharps and flats, like the harmonic scale, the melodic scale, or the double harmonic scale, all with their own modes, sets of chords, and melodic characteristics. But the diatonic scale, with all of those details playing into the intricacies of using it to make music, is just one possible scale structure among many. For example, consider a scale with only one large step and six small steps. With a small step size of around 160 cents, or 1.6 semitones, we end up with a seven note scale containing two major chords, two minor chords, and three diminished chords. We also end up with some intervals that are pretty far from anything we have access to in standard Western tuning. This one large, six small scale can be derived from accurate tunings of what's called porcupine temperament. While in Western music we have a circle of fifths, which can be flatted to give us better thirds, in porcupine you have a circle of major second-ish intervals that can be flatted to give us better, well, pretty much everything. If you continue that chain of seconds beyond that seven note scale, we get another melodically consistent scale right at eight notes, with a structure of seven large steps and one small step. And then at 15 notes, with a structure of seven large steps and eight small steps. These scales might be loosely analogous to our pentatonic, diatonic, and chromatic scales, though it's especially interesting that two of these scales are just one note apart. Perhaps alternating between the two, depending on the melodic needs of a given passage, would be commonplace in porcupine temperament. This one large, six small scale can also be modified by a generalized sharp and flat which is derived as the interval between the large and small steps in the scale. These modifications can be used to gain access to different combinations of major and minor chords than were available before, and to create melodic interest, especially with small steps surrounding target notes. To hear a four-part round I wrote using this one large, six small scale, click the card that should be popping up now, or check the description. I wrote it specifically for this video, but didn't want the music to get lost behind a dry, technical explanation. The round takes advantage of three of the four triads available in the scale, the large fourth that so well approximates 11 to 8, and the curiously sized 163 cent seconds that this scale has so many of. I wrote the round in MuseScore using a new Porcupine Temperament plugin I'm releasing along with this video. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the video of the four-part round if you're curious what music written in this scale system sounds like. If you'd like to support this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe, and also consider pledging a couple dollars per video on my Patreon page. Patrons are only charged when I upload new content, and you can also set a limit on the amount pledged per month. You could, for example, pledge $10 per video, but limit it to one charge each month. I'm always working on long-term projects like refining my 3D printable isomorphic keyboard overlay, but do my best to upload smaller projects on a more regular basis. Also, feel free to check out my Bitcoin channel called Bitcoin Out Loud, where I have opinions and stuff.